Welcome to this Cinema 4D tutorial. I'm Jesse, and here I'll show you how to create a simple and effective softbox light. I've seen online a lot of people sell softbox lighting setups for up to $100 just for Cinema 4D, and really buying and spending all that much money on a fancy lighting setup doesn't make you good at lighting. If you can't light a scene with a simple setup, you probably won't be able to do much good with a fancy setup, other than the fact that they are kind of creating it for you. So let's just create a scene and this is very quick, very simple. It lets you spend most of your time lighting the scene instead of worrying about how to make a softbox light. So the first version, I actually have two today, is with a simple plane. And I'm just going to rotate this to the side and move it over there. That's, this will light my scene. And now to actually make this lit, what I have to do is create a new material and add luminance to it. And there we go. What we can do with the luminance is we can change the color and change the brightness, the percentage. We can go down and we can even go above 100%, which kind of funny, but not going to comment on that for now. So drag your material onto your plane and you're almost all set. If I render the scene, uh, nothing happened. What we have to do is actually add an effect and that is global illumination. Now if I render the scene, what we have is a nicely lit box, a nicely lit scene, and our softbox light is still there. Now, what we can do with this is actually hide it from scene. Say, for example, that you don't want your softbox in the scene. And like right here, say, say I just want blackness right here. What you can do is right click on your plane or your softbox, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and go to Compositing, and uncheck Scene by Camera. Now if I render the scene, what we get is a nicely lit box. Actually, I'm at a pretty bad angle right now. And an invisible softbox. But we also get this bleed behind it. This is where the second version comes in. So let me hide this plane and create a box instead. Drag it up a little bit. And I'm going to change the dimensions of the box by 400, by 400, by 10. And this box will act as our softbox. But first, what we have to do is make it editable. Keyboard shortcut C and go to faces mode and select your front face or the face that you want to become your softbox light. And what we need to do is split this from the rest of the object. And to do so, go to mesh, commands and split. Or you can just right click and go down, down here to split. Now what this does is it creates two objects. One, the first one is just the front face. The other one is the original object. So with the original object, delete the front face. And now if I go back into object mode, and drag the face away, you'll see we have the face and the empty box. So undo that. And now I can just drag the material onto the front face or the lit section and render the scene. And now what we get is the nice light, the lit subject, but no bleed in the back. And what we can do is just select both of these in option G to put them in a null object. You can see they're right there. And then on the null object, I can go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and do the same thing if I want it hidden from the camera. So now, say I don't want it right there, it's invisible. And that's pretty much how you do a simple softbox lighting setup. You have two options, the box or just a flat plane. And to show you an example of my own way of doing it, I've loaded up a scene for you guys. And if I render this, what you see is it's just a very basic two spheres and a torus low poly style with a nice warm lighting up here and a kind of fill light down here just to keep it from all from blackness. So if I go out of the camera, what you will see is we have two light sources. One is the first plane. This is just your basic mat, uh, basic material, I should say. It's got luminance, brightness, 100, color, white. And then the second mat down here is my fill light much lower brightness, 20% in a slightly different color, a uh, slightly reddish color, uh, bluish color, sorry. And you also notice up here that only my uh, main color, main lighting plane has the compositing tag to not be seen by camera because you can see it's right there, it kind of just barely comes into my viewfinder. I could fi fix this in Photoshop afterwards, but I'm pretty lazy. So if I render the scene now, you'll see that my, whoops, my bright white light provides the main lighting and it's a very nice nice and even light. It doesn't have any strong glares anywhere. And then the fill light provides just enough light to kind of keep this area and over here from total blackness. 
Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful and hopefully you can make something of it and I hope I've saved you some money if you were considering maybe to buy some lighting setups. If you want to learn how to actually light something, I've created another tutorial in the past, uh, Light Theory, but really just spend some time paying attention to photography and paintings and like photography is how I learned how to do lighting. So thanks and I'll see you guys next time.